So next up, podcast listeners, we have the dumbest bill in America. And do we have a lead up, Mr. Producer? Here it is. And it's the dumbest bill in America. And it is protecting pedos in Minnesota. <laughs> or pedos, depending on how you want to say it. Yes, you heard that correctly. Protecting pedophiles in Minnesota, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to prove to you that this is what they're trying to do in Minnesota. And you're going to say, no, that can't be true. Why, how, who would ever want to do this? Well, Democratic Minnesota state, state representatives introduced legislation that could end the exclusion of pedophilia from legal protections of sexual orientation in state law. So what does that mean? Well, in state law now in Minnesota, if you are LGBTQ, you are considered a protected class in Minnesota state law. Okay? Follow me? Right now, pedophilia and those who engage in it are not a protected class, for rightfully so, in Minnesota and actually, as you probably already know, you need to go to prison. And certainly there are plenty of people that think you should be castrated as a result of engaging in such things. There's nothing worse than violating children. Well, in Minnesota, ladies and gentlemen, the state's existing anti-discrimination law excludes sexual attraction to children. But HF 1655 would remove that exclusion. The bill describes itself as removing certain sections in the Human Rights Act that allow for discrimination based on sexual orientation. Except that what the bill really does is it actually removes this... <laughs> I'll have to read it for you. i got to read it to you. Excuse me. It's just HF 1655. And I'm going to read to you what this particular bill says, and you're not going to believe where they, what they crossed out here. Gender identity means a person's inherent sense of being a man, woman, both or neither. A person's gender identity may or may not correspond to their assigned sex at birth or to their primary or secondary sex characteristics. A person's gender identity is not necessarily visible to others. Yeah, right. And then there is a section called sexual orientation. Sexual orientation means having or being perceived as having an emotional, physical, or sexual attachment to another person without regard to the sex of that person or having or being perceived as having an orientation for such attachment or having or being perceived as having a self-image or identity not traditionally associated with one's biological maleness or femaleness. Sexual orientation does not include a physical or sexual attachment to children by an adult. So in the current bill, in the current law, it says, quote, this is current law, sexual orientation does not include a physical attraction to children by an adult. Okay? So the current law means that it's illegal to engage in these kinds of acts with children. Guess what they did in HF 1655? They crossed that out. That's how they're changing the law. So they're removing sexual orientation, quote, does not include a physical or sexual attachment to children by an adult. In other words, sexual orientation now includes that. So that, so the, the Democrats in Minnesota, ladies and gentlemen, are saying that you can have a sexual attraction, an adult can, with a child, and that's okay. They're trying to decrim this activity. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the modern Democrat Party. This is who they are, and they've lost their minds. And in addition to that, in addition to that bill, you wouldn't believe that the World Health Organization 
has a comprehensive sexuality education that teaches young children masturbation. And not only is this true, but there's a video of a so-called educator, quote unquote, teaching children about this. By children, I'm talking about elementary school. And the WHO wants this to be implemented worldwide. So think about this. You have an adult who is, quote unquote, teaching an educator a child about this in elementary school. And then you have Minnesota who is intending, bill hasn't passed yet, but it's a real bill that has been introduced. Minnesota that is intending to make pedophiles a protected class. And I can assure you, ladies and gentlemen, this kind of craziness is going to cause a revolution in the United States. You are going, I'm sorry. I've been very careful in marking the millennials not to go in this direction. But you are, you Democrats, the more you allow bills like this to be put in by your crazy leftist supporters, and your leftist crazy politicians, the more you do these crazy things, the more you're going to cause and foment parents to step up and potentially take arms. That's exactly what we don't want to happen. Why would you be attacking children and thinking that's okay? I mean, there were, there were a couple of pride parades, parades excuse me, this past week, whereby individuals who are adults were parading without clothes on and then intentionally dancing in front of children. Now, why the parents would be taking their young children to these parades is a whole nother reason. Another, I mean, <laughs> sick. But here's my point, because Chris and I, our producer, we were talking about this earlier. If you're walking down the street and you expose yourself to a child, you're arrested, Right? You're now, on, you're now in a database. You're going to be convicted quite easily, and you're in a database because you are a child predator. Well, these are, since when is it okay just because of Pride Month? Pride Month, there's an exception? It's bullshit. I'm sorry. It's ridiculous. And this is what the left is trying to normalize. First, it was LGBTQ, women can be men, men can be women. Then they can be married. Then they can adopt children. Then they can be artificially inseminated and have children. Pretty soon you're going to see two transvestites adopt a child or children. You know that's coming and it's sick. And then the next step. Oh, well, you have to use the proper pronouns or you're going to go to jail. And then the next step. Well, now we're going to parade. We're going to turn it into an entire month. And we're going to put it in your face and your children's face and you're going to like it, is what they're saying. It's incredible. And so then you have the World Health Organization, literally a video where there's a child, a single child. It's not like a classroom, which would be bad too, but an individual child in elementary school. And you have a teacher, an educator, teaching about masturbation. I mean, it's this is your modern Democrat party, ladies and gentlemen. They have lost their minds. And in Minnesota, you know they've lost their minds because you actually have a Democrat who's put in a bill to make pedophilia normalized and legal and a protected class. This is how sick the Democrat party is. They must be defeated. This is why I keep saying, make sure that whoever you vote for, for president of the United States, that they can bring the entire Republican Party and the middle and whatever common sense Democrats that are left in the United States, if there are any, and I hope there are, to our side to vote and to overwhelmingly win the United States Congress and the United States Senate and the presidency so that we can pass laws to protect children and families from these pedophiles. And that's the dumbest bill in America, protecting pedos in Minnesota. 
And that's it for Mark and the Millennials. Thank you for joining Mark and the Millennials. This is Mark Fisher. Thank you to our producer, Christopher Hopkins. Check us out on iTunes, Spotify, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Getter, True Social, Rumble, and our website. See you next time.